Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a review of Saxon Mouth 7-6. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Tiffany the Happy Homeschooler. I make videos every single week about homeschooling, curriculum, and reading. If this sounds like you, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Now I'm going to show you inside of Saxon Math 7.6. Very first thing, first things first, um, Saxon Math costs on the Sunlight website, which is where I ordered from, $185.99. That, um, before tax, just to be clear, so um, that was from the Sunlight website and it came in a big box. So it came in this huge box, it says sixth grade. On their website they say that it's for like the higher end of sixth grade or the lower end of seventh grade. So I know that $185.99 can sound a little expensive and to be honest, like it, I mean it is expensive, right? However, um, coming from a cheaper program where, I mean, teaching textbooks is pretty inexpensive, but I felt like it was like such a negative effect on our school, on his math, on his um, mathematical abilities that to me, uh, I would be happy, I am happy actually to pay more for Saxon Math because I think it's such a better program that it's worth it to me to spend a little bit more and get what we need and get tools that will actually help him to be able to excel at math and understand it and move forward at a good rate. So some of the key features, some of the things I love most about Saxon is that it tells you roughly in the beginning how many, like how long each lesson should take and kind of like a timeline of what to expect. It also tells you what to do if you need extra help. So like they have a whole support system and they tell you kind of what to do. So I really appreciate that as a homeschooler, just knowing, okay, well, where do I go from here if this isn't working? One of the things I really like about Saxon Math is that all of these problems. So I'm looking at lesson 43, page 231. Lesson question 14, which of these numbers is not a prime number? A, B, or C? Right, right here, there's a smaller number below the 14, it says, in parentheses, it says 19. And what that is, is telling you where this concept is taught. So when my son gets questions wrong, every single question that he misses, he can go back to that lesson. In fact, he does have to go back to that lesson and reread the lesson. Because text and math is very well done. Every time that I read the lesson, I'm like, I understand it, like, it's so easy. They are so excellent at explaining and being clear and thorough. That's really, really nice is that they can just go back. He knows exactly where that lesson is to relearn it. And he got, he did start doing that like day one. It was like, oh, this is really nice. Like it teaches you where to go. Now, obviously lesson one, he didn't have to go back and read anything beyond lesson one, but you get the idea. Like it was definitely something that we liked immediately in Saxon math. I've never seen that in another math program, so that was a big deal to me. So Saxon also teaches all the important concepts that they need to be taught for sixth, seventh grade. So order of operations, using cross products to solve proportions, area of a circle, finding missing factors. All of these important concepts are taught in Saxon and I feel like they're taught very well. And again, every time my son has a problem, with a question, he can go back and reread the lesson and find the answer. So with the Saxon map, when you order from Sunlight and you get that box, it comes with tests and worksheets. It tells you in this book when to take these tests. We don't even have a copy right now. I have my son write out the questions and then he can answer the questions um, or I write them out and he can answer them. But this is awesome. It's just a really great way to like reiterate extra practice. So they have the workbook for the kids the extra workbooks and practices, and then the solutions manual, which is the instructor's guide. And the instructor's guide honestly is mostly just, um, it's just the answers because the instructions are really in here, which is why this is like a beast and this one's small. So that is how that works. I love that they teach a new concept with every single lesson. So every lesson is taught a new concept and then it's review. So there's like, I think five questions or something with that, the new, the new concept taught and the um and then the rest is review and i like review i like when something is taught again and again just because it helps you stay fresher in your mind no one's going to remember all of these processes unless you practice them because if you don't use it you lose it i love that under each question it shows you which lesson to go to to get taught that that concept 
oh my gosh. Uh, that's like a pretty big deal to me. And I love it because it saves me as a parent so much time. I don't have to be like, where was this taught? I don't remember. I have to, I wanna go make sure I understand it and so I can like help him work through it. But that almost never happens. He almost always can just reread that lesson and be like, oh yeah, that's right. I remember now. And thirdly, I love that it gives you extra worksheets because um, first of all, those I can use again and again with all of my children in the future just because we're copying them down. And uh, I think that whenever there's a problem or a, you know, just a, like a process that he's having a hard time getting, we have extra worksheets for it. There's extra worksheets for like basically every single lesson. So that's amazing. So the cons, and there's only one that I really like, have heard and that I have, I'm like, okay, I can see that a little bit. And that is that sex and math can be kind of boring. I personally am not riveted by math in the first place, but I mean, yes, there's not a bunch of pretty pictures, but we're in sixth grade or seventh grade. And like, I mean, does it need to be super like bright and colorful? I don't know. I'm okay with it not being like that, but that's a complaint I've heard. And yes, the pages are pretty, I mean, pretty just black and white. There's not a lot of excitement in between the pages there. So for me personally, I think the pros outweigh the cons. I love Saxon Math. I'm really enjoying using it this year. So my oldest son is going through Saxon Math and my younger three are still using Singapore because I still do love Singapore math. May we switch in the future? I don't know. I mean, it could happen. So for me, the pros like definitely outweigh the cons. Um, the con being that it can be kind of boring. Uh, the pros are huge in comparison and I'm definitely seeing a lot more progress with him working through Saxon math than teaching textbooks, which I'll put a link to my video up there. My comparison of teaching textbooks versus, versus Saxon math. Yeah, I had a lot to say about that whole situation, but um, we are enjoying Saxon math and the pros for us, again, just to recap, are he can work through almost all the problems on his own and because it lists what, what lesson that concept is taught in, he can just go back and find the answer for himself, which is amazing. He's also enjoying Saxon math way more. He did not enjoy teaching textbooks. I'm not sure if this is because it was an online program and he didn't identify very well with like the online learning. Um, he's a avid reader and I think reading the lessons just worked better for his brain. Like he could visualize it better than seeing it on the screen. Um, so he's actually really enjoying sex and math compared to teaching textbooks, which it, if you're a homeschooler, like, you know, that's a big deal when your kid actually like prefers a certain curriculum or a certain textbook. It's so much better than like battling over something they hate doing every day. I hope this review was useful and helpful for you and that you can use it to determine if Saxon math would be a good fit for you and your family. Uh, everybody's different, so I just hope that this was helpful. I hope you're having an awesome week and happy homeschooling.